In this video, we will learn how to read a data from the keyboard. So mostly the programmer who already know C and C++ programming, they want to know how to read the data from keyboard. Like in C language, Scanf is used for reading the data. In C++, C in is used for reading the data. So how to read the data in Java? Let us see. See, Java provides a class called Scanner that is used for reading the data from different sources. So what could be the different types of sources? We will learn that later. But here we will learn how to read it from keyboard. So keyboard is a source. So from there, how to read the data. So class is available and this class is present in util package. As I said earlier that there are built-in packages in Java and one of the packages is called util. So this class is present in util package or utility package. And this class was provided from version 5 onwards. And here I have some list of methods present in this class, scanner class. So we will look at the methods afterwards. Let us first use it. So here already I have a program ready, import java.util for using your scanner. Now how to use that scanner class? First of all, create an object. See this is the class name, this is the constructor and this is a reference. S is a reference now to a scanner and to this I am assigning system.in like in one of the program we saw system.out is for output that is monitor so same way system.in is for keyboard so this object is associated with keyboard so that object is given to scanner so just imagine like this if this is the keyboard now scanner object this logical object this is assigned to it now whatever you type in from here it comes through this scanner object to your program so this is like a pipe you have assigned it to a keyboard so scanner works as a pipe to read the data from the keyboard so here let us write a program for just adding two numbers a simple program so I will take two numbers from the keyboard and then display the addition of two numbers so for that I will declare some variables a b C then here I will first give a message that I want to take some number so let us say system.out.println enter two numbers enter two numbers so this is the message like it's a common practice C out enter two numbers then C in two numbers so for reading I have to use this scanner so how to read it see these are the methods available so the type of numbers that I want to read are integers. So there is a method called next int. So call this method. This will read a integer number from the keyboard. So make sure you are entering an integer number only from the keyboard, right? So you should give valid data. So s dot next int will get an integer. And let us store this in a. So actually this method will return that integer value. So same way, I will read the next number that is s dot next int, read the number and take it in b. Then c assign a plus b, this will be adding two things. Then system dot out dot println, I am not writing the complete statement, I will write sop that is for system dot out dot println, sum of two numbers is, sum is, now plus you have to write here if you want to concatenate anything. So this is the method for displaying. So how the output will come on the screen, sum is whatever the sum. Suppose it is 25, so you'll get a message like this. Sum is 25. Like in C, C++ programming, if you are coming from mostly, we use commas there. So but here we have to use plus for concatenation. So these are the statements which are used for reading two numbers, right? Two numbers and displaying the result. Next. We will see all these methods. So I'll show you these methods, what these methods are. Next int will read an integer. And if you want to read float, say next float or next double. These are the common data types we use. So I have written them in the beginning. Now, if you want to read a string, string set of characters, like you want to read a name or you want to read any word, then the method is next. If you want to read a sentence, right, a line, then there is a method read line so it will read multiple words this will read just one word this will read multiple words then the other methods are also available like next byte short long boolean 
these are the different data types that are supported in Java. So if you know about them, you can use them. So right now we have not discussed about these data types. Now, next thing. There are other methods also available like before reading an integer you want to confirm really the next value that is coming in is an integer or not to confirm there is a method called has next int so it returns boolean value that is true or false so it will return either true or false so whether the next value that is coming in from source is a integer or not so if it is integer you can read it as integer if it is not then you can avoid it so before reading the data you should confirm what type of data you are getting so if you are interested in this then you can use that one there are some more methods in this class we will learn about this class later on like just like an introduction to make you aware how to read the data from the keyboard i have shown it now i will remove these things then i will write on one more program just to take a name of a person and give a welcome message so i'll remove this now here I will write on the statements for reading the name of a person and giving a welcome message. So for that I should read a string so I should declare a variable of type string and let us call the variable name as name. Now here system.out.println right. So may I know your name. Now after giving a message I want to read. So a name may be of more than one words. So let us reuse next line for reading a string. So S is an object of scanner. So from S we are reading it. So say next line. So this will read a line. And that string let us assign it to this variable name. Then here give a message system.out.println Welcome Mr. or Miss. Then the name of a person. Concatenate and give the name of a person. That's it. So this is a simple program. So this is a C, C++ type style of programming. So if you want to practice some C, C++ programs, which you already have done, learn them, then you can convert them into Java and you can get used to with the Java coding a little bit. So as a practice, you can convert your C, C++ program, basic programs to this one. So that's all I have shown you how to read the data from the keyboard. So this is the simplest way in Java in for reading the data from the keyboard. So that's all in this video.